Good morning, party people! No. Hey, stray cats and kittens! No. Like, welcome to my channel. So when it starts recording, I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna be like, hey! No, or something like, I, I don't, why is it beeping? Are you already recording? Hello, friends. No. No. That's what I say to the littles. Hola, mis amigos. Para continuar en español, oprima uno. To continue in English, press two. No. No? No. No? No. All right, well, welcome back. Um, it's been a hot minute since we've done any day drinking and crafting, or since we've done any day drinking and crafting on video. And um, I thought this seemed like a perfect opportunity to, to bring it back, at least bring back the videotaping of it. Um, and um, yeah, so here we are. We're gonna do a little day drinking and crafting. Um, I have already, I'm not counting the shots because I'm not going anywhere. And um, I already made my drink. It's the vanilla vodka and the ginger ale. It's kind of, uh, was that summer of 2012? Shanda, Denver, anyway. So yeah, I have it in a, you know, the perfect day drinking vessel. Um, I may have already had some. I mean, a little bit. My ginger ale is gone. Um, but yeah, so um, let's get to it. All right, so since uh, we did this the last time, I have watched probably about a million and three YouTube videos. Um, you know, honing my game uh, so that I can get better at this and I can, you know, just be like all things YouTube videos. And um, one of the things I learned is that you have to have a name for your channel. So welcome to my channel. The official name is The Boozy Cinnamon Roll. And um, also it helps if you talk about your other friends. Um, you know, my good friends at the Peachy Dumpster Fire and um, uh, that's the only one I can think of at the moment, but yeah. Um, and then what was the other thing I was supposed to tell people? Like, hit it, slap it, no. This took a really dark turn. Yeah, it's something with the Ding what? it. <laughs> no, no. Stop. Stop talking. Like. Like it. Subscribe to the channel. The bell. Oh, and hit the notification bell. And leave a comment. So, you know, like. You can leave a comment of what you liked, what you didn't like, or you can leave me ideas of things that you think I should day drink and, and craft. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, so, one of the things that is really, you know, popular right now is this craft that people are doing with books. And basically what you do is you take a book, like this one, and you totally destroy it. You rip off the cover, you rip off the spine, you paint it with, I don't know, chalk paint, you rip out some of the pages until you've got like, you know, print, and then you write something clever on the spine of the book like Eat, Pray, Love, or Home Sweet Home, or um, can we mention, Peachy Dumpster Fire, I don't know. Can we mention the one that I said off camera? Uh, Matthew shared an off-color one that was like, um, what was Eat? So you know how like the really um, stereotypical- Live, Laugh, Love. So it's uh, Aha, Ha Ha, and uh, something expletive alive um, alive uh -huh. yeah 
Um, however, I work for Fox Press, F-A-W-K-E-S Press, a boutique publishing company in uh, Fort Worth. And um, I could never rip the cover off of a book or tear the binding off of a book or rip pages out of a book, even if I bought the book at the dollar store. Um, yeah, I just, yeah, that I don't have it in me. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover the book and then, you know, approximate the craft. I did, after all, go to high school in the 80s when we had to cover our books. So let's get started with that. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need is some books that you're gonna cover. Um, these books are Paul's. I have Pillage, I have Dragon Rider, and I have Sun. So uh, Lois Lowry, uh, Cordelia Funk, and then Obert Sky. Um, great authors. Um, so yeah, like I said, I will not damage these books. I'm just gonna cover them with white craft paper. Um, and uh, since I asked Matthew not too long ago if he knew how to cover a book, and uh, he said no, that he doesn't know. Paul admits he doesn't know either. So basically you take your craft paper um, so that it's a little bit uh, taller than the book is long and then wider than the book is when you spread it out like that. And then you just fold it at the top so that it's about, um, you know, so that it lines up with the top of the book. And then you kind of fold it at the bottom so that it lines up with the bottom of the book. Um, maybe just a teeny tiny bit uh, bigger so that you have a little bit of overlay. And then you, uh, can you see that, Matthew? Move the eggs. What's with the eggs, man? Um, they were an Easter craft. Told you I got a little carried away with the Easter crafts and wrapped all the eggs in decoupage and then had nothing to put our jelly beans in. <laughs> um, it was a sad day. So then you take the book, open the, the book cover, and then just turn the, the side in like that. And then close the book. Open the book the other way, whoops, and do the same thing. Now, if you were really going to carry the book around and, you know, use it for schoolwork and stuff like that, you would probably want to put a little bit of tape, like, here and here. But since this is just for decoration purposes, um, you don't have to do that. So what you do is you take your, your book, which basically it's covered, then you take... Um, well, there's a lot of ways you can do it. People are using their cricket or their locust or whatever it is, the little cutting thing, and making their own stencils, or they're uh, stamping it with stamps, or they're buying poster stickers of letters and then spelling out the words. Um, I mean, however you want to do it. Um, again, I went to high school in the 80s. I know how to write, like, neatly and have it be legible. So I'm just gonna write on these. I don't I don't need like a a fancy you locus printer. You didn't have to come for like my whole generation there, man. I, I said nothing about cursive. I'm just straight talking about printing at this point. So you kinda keep in mind what your you know, your expression is eat, pray, love. Um Cheeseburger, cheeseburger, soda. I don't know. Um, and then you just write it. Um, the ones that I have seen are right aligned, meaning the word is uh, aligned with the right corner um, of the book. So like when you, when you put it out there, like the words are, you know, right here, lined up with this side, which is kind of an odd way to do it, but you know, it is what it is. Um, so you want to kind of keep that in mind and write backwards. So if you're doing eat, start with the T, 
then the A, then the E, so that you're spacing it out correctly. Does that, if that makes sense? Um, and then, once you have written, and I'm using my favorite uh, bronze Sharpie. Um, everyone has a favorite fancy pen or a favorite fancy chalk paint that they use in these videos. And so I have my favorite bronze Sharpie, um, which Miss Kathleen got at Office Depot. Um, so yeah, I just wrote a, a fancy word with this fancy bronze Sharpie. And then, um, you just continue until you've got all three books done um, and then kind of go from there. Okay, so uh, once you've got your books all done, the next thing um, is, you know, you kind of make them look fancy and some people like uh, take ribbon or uh, burlap or fabric and kind of wrap it all the way around and then, you know, tie it or put a big flower on top. Um, but I'm going to kind of go old school and use this uh, baking twine um, that I got, you know, at the Dollar Tree. That's the other thing we have to say a lot is where we got stuff. Um, at the Dollar Tree. I did get it before the quarantine though, so it's not like I went out and bought it. Um, it's just been sitting around. So, uh, what you take, is, what you do is you, you know, wrap it around the stack of books. Whoops. Um, and then tie it, maybe in a bow, um, or you could like do that thing where you do it this way too maybe, um, so if I didn't leave enough of that. So yeah, we're not going to do that one this way, um, but tie it in a little bow and you know maybe decorate it. Um, I wasn't like overly prepared for this one. Um, I do have some little bunny pom-poms and some googly eyes, but um, I think those are left over from another craft. Um, maybe not the best idea for the book, do you think, Matthew? No. Okay. No. Also, I should say that I probably don't have to call my wife Miss Kathleen on the videos. Um, I just call her that for my Sunday school littles, so. Anyway, um, that's pretty much it. You wrap it, and then, you know, I'll post a little picture here of how we have it all staged, all fancy for people to look at and enjoy. Um, I hope you like this. Um, like, like we said, like it, subscribe, comment, follow. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. That's right. Hit the bell. Um, flip it up. Slap it. Rub it down. No. No? Okay. All right. Nobody's going to well, do any slapping or rubbing down of anything that has to um, do with you. It's a, it's a hip-hop song, Belle Biv DeVoe. Back in the... I went to high school in the 80s. That's, that's my go-to on this one. I went to high school in the 80s. This video's over.